least with our guys, you come back off a, a road trip where I thought we'd really played well, um, and our energy was terrific tonight. Uh, we did a lot of good things. We established ourselves defensively in the first half, uh, holding them to 25 points um, and 26% shooting. So we really put ourselves in a good position coming out of the break. Um, I thought we got some really good play out of Isaac and Price. I thought they controlled the game really well. And, and having Tony makes a difference. You know, we didn't have him in that first game. And, you know, he gets a double-double tonight. Um, I thought Tom came in and gave us some really good stuff off the bench. And uh, Kavon does what Kavon does. So um, just really good and really proud of the team. And now we got a big one uh, coming up here on Saturday because Oregon's playing really well. Way back before the season, you mentioned that this would be a different team from October to February. Is this starting to see kind of what you envisioned back then? Well, I hope so. You know, to me, I think we're getting better. I, you know, I told the guys when we got back from the road trip that um, we played pretty well. I mean, we played really well at Stanford, and I thought we played really well at, at California. I, I thought we did a lot of good things in both of those games. And uh, I've told our guys before, there are sometimes you win and I don't think you get better. And there's sometimes you can lose and still get better. And I thought we lost at Cal, but we got better. And so we've been playing uh, at a higher level. We played really well against Utah. We backed that up with a really good game against uh, Colorado. Uh, and then we went on the road, and that's by far the best we've played on the road this year um, in, in that two-game road trip. So, and, and I thought we were really good tonight. You know, we hold them. You know, it's a 38% shooting and out rebounding by almost 20. You know, we did a lot of good things. So we're in a stretch here. We've been playing some pretty good basketball, and we're going to have to have that. You know, down the stretch, we're going to have to continue to do that. We're tied now with Oregon State. With Oregon winning tonight at USC, uh, there's still one game ahead of us. So there's a lot of got a lot of teams bunched up still fighting for this thing. So it's going to be a it's going to be a great finish and uh, sets up for a great match uh, Saturday at noon. You guys talked about focusing on penetrating, especially with the guards, and it seemed like early on you guys just got so hot from three that it, it didn't really matter. How much did that change things compared to the last game when you guys, I think you were 6 of 25? Right, and I think, again, it opens it up when you've got someone like Tony inside. And, you know, Tony did a really good job tonight. Even if he didn't get the ball, he was such a presence in there that they had to guard him, so their zone got, got a little bit flatter. We wanted to screen the top, which I thought we did a really good job. Kavon and Gigi did a great job screening the top. Uh, and then we just wanted to make plays. We wanted to attack. And, you know, their zone gets you standing around to where you, you end up not running anything, and they're guarding no, nothing. So now for 10, 15 seconds, you're just standing around looking at each other. And we wanted them to guard. If we had a 35-second clock and we used the whole thing, we wanted them at least guard for 35 seconds. And I thought the guys did. We were a little careless on the break. They got a couple transition um, turnover baskets that we just were a little careless with our ball handling in the first half. But, you know, other than some careless turnovers, I, I thought we did a really good job of actually getting them out of their zone to where basically the last 10 minutes they had to go man. Isaac getting nine assists. Does he, has he shown that he can be maybe as much of a point guard as you can? Well, I don't think it was such a point guard. He didn't play much point guard tonight. Um, Bryce, what he played, 30 six minutes. I, you know, I thought what Isaac did really well but was but when he was on the zone, he made a lot of good decision making. Uh, forget point guard, shooting guard, big guard. He's a guard, just like Bryce is, just like Norman is, but uh, we didn't like play him at point tonight. Uh, he just did a really good job against their zone on the wing of making good decisions, and, and that's what we've talked about for the last two days in going against their zone that we didn't do up there. Uh, we didn't have good shot selection up there. And we didn't make good decisions with the ball. And tonight we did that, and Isaac was as good as anybody on our team tonight of making really good decisions. And when he does that, you know, that, that helps everything. Not only to get nine assists, you know, he had two turnovers and he gets 16 points. He made shots. And, you know, when he's playing that way, it really helps us because, you know, it wasn't one of Norman's best nights. But as I told Norman, your team won going away with you not having one of your better nights, so you can gain a lot of even more trust with your teammates. And, and that's good to see, because obviously Norman's been very hot for us. And for him to have a little bit of an off night and we still win the way we won, uh, that's encouraging, especially for these other guys. You guys haven't had 30 free throw attempts in regulation since, I think, non-conference schedule. How much, long time. How much of a difference did it make to get those, to be able to get those easy points? Well, and that's what, that's what they are, and, and you've got to get there. We didn't shoot a great percentage, but uh, we got there. We had, what, I think almost everybody other than Gigi got a free throw attempt tonight. So 
that's what we have to do. And, you know, we'd like to get 30 a night. That doesn't mean we're going to get 30. But we've had too many games where we're getting 15, 16, 17, and that's not near enough. So, And we're doing that against a team that zones most of the time. So to get that many free throws against a team that zones, um, without watching the tape, I, I would say we were pretty good at attacking their zone and making them guard and, and getting some angles on them. And I thought we did a good job of, again, going back to Tony and Tom. We got the ball inside. And sometimes zones can make you just settle for jump shots, and we didn't do that. You know, we, again, playing a zone team, we only took 18 threes. We got the ball inside, we got fouled, we drove the ball, and that was good to see. Thank you.